He's a master of second chances. And, you know, when we say everyone can achieve, which is the name of this company, that's exactly what we mean. And everyone can achieve in the city of Wilmington. That is the goal and namesake of local entrepreneur Earl Cooper's heavy highway construction maintenance of traffic company based in Wilmington. Known simply as ECA, the organization recently unveiled their home remodeling pilot program designed to give their employees the opportunity to become homeowners through their own sweat equity. Uh, a lot of times people of color rent in the community, but they don't have any home ownership. So ECA decided that uh, uh, as a group collectively, because of our wages and because we are the new middle class, instead of moving abroad or moving out of the communities, why not come back to their own community and why not build that community from there? Hi. <laughs> Single father Michael Cephas is the recipient of ECA's inaugural home renovation project located on Claymont Street. An employee of Everyone Can Achieve since 2018, he says working with his coworkers to rebuild his future home has been the experience of a lifetime. Putting in uh, hard work, labor, hands-on, a rebuilding house, learning how to cut and hang drywall, <laughs> a lot of different things. It, it, it made me realize the value of home ownership because what you put in is what you're gonna get out of it. And I, this was, you know, one of those dreams come true that you know that we could turn people's lives around and everyone can achieve really demonstrated that. They've taken not only an old building, an old house, and turned it into a home for someone who was in desperate need of one. Um, but to build it, they built up the human stock also. <laughs> Former president of Wilmington City Council, Hanifa Shabazz, has been a resident of Southbridge for over three decades. The first ever female president of city council, Shabazz is among a long list of historic leaders that call Southbridge home, including Herman Holloway, Mayor James Sills, and the incomparable Henrietta Johnson. The history of Southbridge is uh, so unique. We thought that Southbridge, with all of the hurdles, feeling as if they had been left out, we wanted to be the first to publicly, during this era, to say that we want to make a commitment. Our goal is to hope that other corporations follow us. As far as giving back to the community, staying engaged in the community. This is a win-win for everyone involved. This is the stepping stone or the gate opener for a lot of entrepreneurs to see that it, you don't have to go outside of your community to give back. And giving back to the Southbridge community is exactly what Earl Cooper and the ECA plans to continue doing. Cooper says their next big project is to renovate a dilapidated property in the heart of Southbridge into the company's new corporate headquarters. Plan on right here. They also plan to build an innovation center specifically for members of the Southbridge community. We want that to be a place where people of the community can come, learn, help their entrepreneurial goals. Our whole goal is to make millionaires. And what, what, what better place on the trail to freedom uh, is to make millionaires. So we want this to be the location where people want to come, where they can change their lives. Yeah. Reporting from Southbridge, I'm Michaela Austin, 22 News.